around. And that's what standardized work really is. That's where it starts. Standardized work doesn't mean trying to act people, ask people to be like robots and do what and do exactly what I tell them, which is what the word, the nuance can sound like. No, it means separating out the work that I can own as a human. So then we can have the flow of work, the flow of production will stop for any kind of abnormalities. That enables each person to be the entrepreneurial owner of the quality output of whatever the work is that they're doing. And that means we want to be, we're enabled to be great problem solvers and we use standardized work to help us do that. And that, that means the social side of this needs to be in place. Support and assistance is readily available in terms of the organizational structure, and also the relationships, the nature of the relationships. Here you have someone with a problem pulling a cord, uh, someone coming to help. So the attitude of that person coming to help is going to determine everything about the attitude of the person doing that work. We talked about fear before, whether psychological fear, psychological safety needs to be in place. So for this, what looks like a purely technical, simple system to work, 